All right, folks, I've been talking about Xbox needing that third party exclusive, that third party game that will shift consoles like no other. Sony has done this since the inception of PlayStation 1, the inception of PlayStation 2. They had no first party exclusives, yet they managed to outperform, out console the Dreamcast, the Sega Saturn, anything that really came their way outside of Nintendo because Nintendo had their own, they've always had their own ecosystem, right? Their, their, their own fan base, they always did their own thing. But when it came to other competitors within that market, Sony came in and bought Psygnosis, known as uh, PlayStation Liverpool now. But, you know, they've bought their way into the industry and have money hatted third party exclusives all the way to the top. And it's worked really well for them. And sure, with the introduction of the PS3, they invested heavily into first party games by buying some studios and, you know, giving us the Uncharted series, the Last of Us series and more you know god of war has been a worthy franchise for them and has continued to sell well and do well and rate well on metacritic it's just doing amazingly well now you're probably thinking hey i didn't come here to listen to a playstation podcast or a video i came here to listen to xbox so what the hell is going on well this is what i've been talking about okay every once in a while a video game comes along where you have to perform you have to do well you have to deliver and this is the time xbox needs to deliver if they want to gain ground in the console market gain ground in the hardware market if they want to push ahead and start getting people to convert from playstation to xbox now is the time because gta 6 is going to be the single most important game of probably our generation for a while. Now you've had Skyrim, you've had Starfield, and there has been a plethora of games that have been generational games that have been good, but none of them have been as important as GTA 6. This game will pretty much define who wins the console generation now and beyond. Microsoft cannot afford to not have something up its sleeve for the launch of GTA 6. If PlayStation 5 Pro comes out, or even a PlayStation 6, and it beats Xbox at their game of trying to release a console earlier, and it can perform better, I can assure you it's gonna be pretty much done. Now, this isn't Doom posting, this isn't saying anything. Microsoft simply cannot afford to lose this one because even the most diehard people are going to go and buy a PlayStation 5 Pro for this game. That's how important this game is. Now just listen to what Destin says. Xbox, in my opinion, needs a competitive device in terms of console to compete with whatever the PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be, and they need it before GTA 6. GTA 6, regardless of who's selling the most consoles, it's one of the most important console-specific games ever made. And that is going to be an opportunity for both PlayStation and Xbox to move units. That is the time to release your pro unit or your pro version of the console. And if Xbox misses that window, PlayStation is just going to run with it and go crazy. This is not a game that is available on PC. It's not coming to PC anytime soon. That's the way Rockstar operates. Microsoft can not miss the boat do you have any news about some sort of mid-generation refresh for xbox no no microsoft needs their console to come out by 2025 if they're going to do anything or even i'm going to play on playstation 5 pro now what he said there isn't an exaggeration this is actually you know on point and him who's a diehard xbox fan who's always preferred xbox even he is saying that he will play it where it's best played. And because it's not available on PC, that's the point. That's the kicker here. Because if it was available on PC, the consoles would not matter. And this is something that other content, and this is something that other content creators have been saying for quite some time. Like who cares about consoles when it's available on PC, that is the best place to play it, right? But GTA 6 is not going to be on PC. 
So if Microsoft is serious about gaining market share, if Microsoft is serious about the console market, if Microsoft is serious about their Xbox platform, this is one game they want to be able to go out there and say, this game is best played on Xbox. It is that simple. They cannot afford to mess this one up. There are a few games that come in our generational time. GTA 5 has proved over 10 years, a decade, how popular it is, how big it is, despite all the re-releases, it is still selling and it is still in the top 10 charts. This is how important this game is. And sure, I was watching Alex's video and he said, you know, it took three generations before that game got to 60 FPS. That's all thrown out the window. This is a game that's costing $2 billion to make. It's huge. The attention around this game is insane. And the reality is, wherever this game is best played will be the platform that accelerates above and beyond. The PS5 Pro is coming out for this reason and this reason only. I am not saying that the PS5 Pro will run this game at 60 FPS. I don't even know if those PS5 Pro specs are real. You're seeing 6 to 7 teraflops, then 33 teraflops, but we all know that from 33 with the way RDNA 3 runs, those specs are a little misguided and a little bit deceiving because it's actually 16 teraflops. Now, Xbox has been tooting that they're not going to be doing a mid-gen refresh. This is all true. But what they are not saying is when exactly their next hardware is going to come. Their next hardware has to come before the release of GTA 6. And if GTA 6 is coming in 2025, Xbox's hardware has to be ready and they need to be able to turn around and say that the best place to play GTA 6 is Xbox. It doesn't need to be exclusive. I don't think any of them are going to get the marketing rights, but if Microsoft can get the marketing rights for GTA 6 and get the right to say that the best place to play this game is on an Xbox with higher frame rates, higher fidelity, you can bet your bottom dollar that people will go and buy an Xbox just for that game. That is how big it is. People thinking that they won't is delusional. Downright delusional. Some of you won't care and that's fine. But if there were ever was a time for Microsoft to take things seriously, to actually go, you know, go head to head with PlayStation, this is it. GTA 6, like, though I'm not a huge fan of it, I'm going to be playing it. And I want to play it where it's best played. But and unfortunately, it's not on PC. So that means I'm going to be looking wherever the best played possible option is and play it there, regardless of the platform, because it's a generational game. I would be dumb not to cover it on my channel. And I'm going to be covering it where it's best played. And whichever console that's on, it's going to be on that console. This is why this game and why I've been saying that third party games, money hatting them or making sure your console runs them the best is so important for Xbox. And few games that come through that are so important. There are multiple games that come out that you know are must have, must play. GTA 6 tops all of those. There is no game out there that is going to be as big or as important as GTA 6. And if Microsoft fumble this game up, it's not a matter of, oh, people are overhyping it. And you know, well, if this game doesn't do well, it doesn't mean Xbox is dead. The amount of people that will go out and buy a PS5 Pro just for this game will put Microsoft console hardware in such a disadvantaged position it's going to be crazy to see how big that shift is going to be. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. I've been thinking about this and mulling this over for a while until I actually saw this clip and I said, you know what? He's actually right. This game is that big. This game is that important. And Phil, you need to make sure if you can, if it's even possible to get the marketing rights for this game, get it. But the one thing above all else you need to do is if the PS5 Pro actually exists, you need a response to that for this game alone. That is how big it is. 
because this game will shift consoles. It doesn't matter where it is. It's going to shift consoles because it's not on PC. Even PC users who want to play this game have to buy a console and they're not going to play it on an inferior console running the game. They're going to play it on the superior console playing the game. And if that superior console is the Xbox, Xbox is going to you know, exponentially sell a hell of a lot of units just so people can get the best experience for the game of the generation. It's that simple. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that discussion. If you've made it this far, do leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell to stay up to date with all content I release. You can further support me through my Patreon, YouTube membership, and of course, super thanks. And if you are a subscribed member, I have a poll in my community section. Please go and check it out. I'm looking for about three, 4,000 responses. It would really help me decide how I take this channel to the next level. And I need your help to make that happen. Right, that's it. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, remain legend.